Stop what that is saying. Yes, I see Cross said the end. The only story we're born. Rick Cross, who try hit song that been been hundred years ago. We won't say Jimmy. Or the question is, but as I be just scared, we're going to say, oh, Rick Cross, a first story we're born. Jimmy Papa. Now Rick Cross not here. Now that been who try who try no more toy. I think that's going to be Rihanna for me. I've always said that. I'm saying the truth. I've always said that. I've always wanted a Taylor or Rihanna. Yeah. Thank you to the females. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> On the male side is got to be you and then on the, on the female side it's got to be rihanna or taylor swift for oh, now and, rihanna I'm, I'm most definitely with you i'm absorbing that rihanna energy and you know as far as the collaboration with you and boss we could get that done this week whoa I'm the whole world just had that we're gonna get and the only reason i'm not gonna say tonight is because i got another dinner i've been celebrating my birthday <laughs> Oh, week, my brother. Hey! Kasama, Kasama! Kasama, Give us a thumbs up now! Pa, 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 pa! I was saying, aha, a pine TV back up, a B and Count Beam over YouTube. And they had in Simpy Eddie Abramo, our channel whistle. Nanini Nan is a stone boy, and they were cross, a collaboration at Air Basso, and Yadis, a Yasam Ketuakra, a big collaboration at Air Basso, and they are my disgusting artists. I know ever promoting Ghana music at a call afar. Now, apart from collaboration and they or more ever be you know, recross as I promised Stone Boy say I just obey traditional Edna Marihana and another collaboration as I abaso. That is one of the massive collaborations uh, and they Stone Boy a bit my senior after say or never cross a benya this collaboration and they omonium cry a yab out. Now in this same story and uh Kevin Taylor, on a journalist, or no, a Dini Juma or America, and so I'm not to say, Rick Cross, a Dagana teaser, and it's in the quite stone boy, and the Wahwan also in ya, in a big collaboration, be about Bayam, and now all the only two Noma Gana for it down Monday. Now, um, Kevin Taylor, and so Eddie in Samba community are to ya, and they are far. Stone Boy and Navy Cross collaboration ever ever so. I would show him say, Stone Boy, Kwan, and Nikwa say, Oh, yes, she, now a guy, guys, because even as we speak, Kwan, I had they say, for the last 10 years, Kwan, Rick Cross, it's my pro producer, and you'll be an answer, what me didn't be a babble until I hate Anna Bibisa. Gone are the days, I didn't Rick Cross, I record, but and they as we speak, for the last 10 years, he did, and I had they say, Rick Cross, it's me, I be a strong could be a day, and you can say, Stone Boy, man, and EJ, or this. Collaboration and he or the guy guy with social media and they were your home live streaming near the I mean to him it is totally absurdity in the class stone boy and wow now what is actually coming up after a more interviewer in the omoye that is Rick Cross and then stone boy and we will delve much into on live streaming now or more yeah yeah that is on Instagram as stone boy and they Rick Cross a and send away a room a one summer hold when they okay can you move so about the linkage between Rihanna and the stone boy I mean, it's a stone boy in Yaji because I did with it, Missia, about one of the biggest achievements in the Ghanaian music industry. Now, before we zoom into that discussion, you hear some of these artists and they omenya um, some massive collaboration from outside. Now, to start with, you know, him say, um, Shata Wale, pa 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 pa, um, for some few years, and now name, um, Beyonce, it's me a collabo. I bear hits, oh, we are suffering somewhere in 2019. And I saw you know it's me by a Beyonce and a Shatter Wally. It's me a feature this song and I already in 2019. This particular collaboration was the most talked about international collaboration that features a Ghanaian act. So if you see the play, I mean the video and everything, it tells you say um collaboration of course or Beyonce and Shatter Wally in terms it wasn't just a mere collaboration. It was a hit song as at that time, and even as we speak. It is still raining. Now, the next on my list, aye, now, Ed Sheeran, aye, award-winning British singer. And also, it's many Fizz ODJ, aye, and you move, that is Boame, which was also released in 2017, together with Mugis. Uh, and also, a feature particular song. Now, let me reinforce Ed Sheeran, and so, the album, a friend, Divide. And so, it's me renamed Grammy in 2018. So, it tells you, say, Ed Sheeran, Ed Sheeran, any Fizz ODJ collaboration, and so, one of the massive collaborations are, Ghanaian artist, it mean yeah with it mean yeah with this British singer uh, on their song Boame in 2017. Now moving on again, your Kerry Hilson on the Stone Boy Korea and they all hear him on every cross a bay collaboration. No, it me and Loga Jansen album. Um that time and also this song nominate. Uh, they say Kerry Hilson and so it mean um, Stone Boy a this collaboration and Loga Jansen album. No, one of the few songs and they will make it. Um, nominating you know, and also it's a collaboration that was another hit song for 
um, Stone Boy, which was a Ghanaian artist, you know, about few of them at many and this international collaboration. I mean, it's promoting the Ghanaian music and then putting it on the global map. Now, another big one that is of the Pompe de Sakodi in 2015, Sakodi and is Hood. It's me, um, in this international collaboration. Now, it's Hood, a American rapper. Um, and in this new song, and the one is called a new guy. And this song in 2015 was one of the biggest international collaboration, then, particularly on how he landed the feature. Now, in this particular song, a new guy, it was them serious. I mean, a one of the biggest achievements of Sakodi in the year 2015, on also it as international collaboration with Ace Hood, that is new guy song, and also it means so to mention a few, this is some of the few um, Ghanaian artists or uh, many these collaborations, international collaborations for that matter. Metimi uh, Amomo Karia. Now the biggest one I hear in Mose Bebaso uh, between Stone Boy and Recross. And of course, Recross there back in the days. And I said going back to the olden days, you know, on Lewin Mo, Bedman Mo. I mean, for the last 15 years of the air band there, now 15 years of band there, now Recross, it me Irini Yipa. One of the hit song, Speeding. Now records one of the hit song or the Bible until now, as we speak, it's still now it sells. Uh, yeah, speeding. And uh, yeah, uh, as we speak, no, uh, that's who it really. Now, going back to um, this particular discussion and uh, 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 table, so that is the collaboration between Stone Boy and then Rick Ross. Now, you heard him with someone you might more prepared the Bible until now, a bit more to do. But I will interview her. Stone Boy and records here, no. Records, Emma Stone Boy and TSA. I did so. Ben Lincoln or Eddie Marihana, I'm on my another collaboration. And I feel say Stone Boy and EGA, but because to get Rihanna feature you on a song, it tells you said that song must be a hit song from music perspective. In the um, you see and commodity, I call so between Stone Boy and records. Now, for we are about Kevin Taylor, and then somewhere they're able to join there also. I to be a man across a yas and kitchen. But for now, let's listen to particular interviewer Stone Boy and records here. Or can and some a um collaboration I hold with Abel and Kiston Boy and Mano Enya apart from so on any year Juma in this international collaboration we are near switch up. Kevin Taylor the need no extra tour now feel comment and so I follow afterwards. All right, so look, it's Ricky Rose, Stone Boy, Ghana. They tuned in. This is what America want to know on our side before we come to your side. What American artists you would say influenced you in your career the most? Ah. Uh, any American artist that would have influenced my career the most would be definitely a hip hop artist, you know, because of the vibes, you know, because of the consciousness, you know, of the vibes. One of my favorites is Talib Kweli as well, you know, from time. Yeah, definitely everybody knows about Jay Z. Yes, definitely the boss himself, you as well, to be honest. I'm not even going to lie. Like, ever since you, you came into the game, you've brought a different spirit. You know into into the industry and i'm really feeding off of that inspirational vibes that you always put in because you know and you see it yourself you know like your your videos the stuff that you tell people or say always go a long way to get us to become what we become you get me so we keep on fighting we keep on pushing and that's it for me so hip-hop itself is not only necessarily one artist out of america you know hip-hop itself me, so. No, yeah. so I love that. And just for all the American artists that's watching, I just want to grow upon you, my brother. Um, once again, it's all about Ghana. But this one question I want to ask you. If you could collaborate with one artist on this side, and not Rosé, if you could collaborate with one artist, because you never know, that might be a phone call Rosé could make. We of course, <laughs> who would that one, one artist be? He's. Oh, gee, who's, that, who's that gonna be? Who's that gonna be? Rihanna. I think that's gonna be Rihanna for me. I've always Woo! said that. I'm Taylor Swift. I've always said that. I've always wanted a Taylor or Rihanna. Yeah. Let's take it to the females. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> on the male side, it's gotta, gotta be you, and then on the on the female side, it's got to be Rihanna or Taylor Swift. For oh, now, man. Rihanna, I'm, I'm most definitely with you. I'm absorbing that Rihanna energy, and you know, as far as the collaboration with you and Boss, we could get that done this week. Whoa! I'm the whole world about. just had that. We're gonna. And the only reason I'm 
I'm not going to say tonight is because I got another dinner. I've been celebrating my birthday all week, my brother. But I'm just letting you know we're going to do that. Okay, so of course, of course. Look, I just want to, I want to ask this. This for everybody who watching my brother, watching you. I'm a huge fan of you. But this is a question I want to ask. In Ghana, mm -hmm. in the last, last 10 years, of course, with the African mute, the explosion. I'm going to describe it as, a, as an explosion. It's always been a, a, amazing. But in the last 10 years, how would you describe Ghana and the African music set changing the most over the last decade? Thank you. Over the last decade, I can, I can boldly say that um, Ghana music has always contributed to the influence of of African music, you know, as we all see it, you know, globally. And Ghana music over the last decade has actually influenced the sound in terms of um, the Afrobeat sound. You know, nonetheless, you know, Ghana music actually has a pivotal influence when it comes to um, the Afrobeats of today, which would be, you know, the crossbreed. And we call that high life music. High life. Like the high life music. It's for you know high life, like I mean high life, like lifestyle. Yes, 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 yes. Five, so, so that's actually the um the the the, the heart. It's it's it, it's like to me. I've always said this. I said this on Ebro's show. I said this on um on on Sway's show, Breakfast. I told them, and they found out that high life music has always been a contributor to the core of the sound that we have today, and that's what has been even before the um the last ten years. You know what I'm saying? So. I think that's what I can say. And artists like myself, bridging the gaps, actually bringing in all music of black origin, which would be tapping into the Jamaican side of as well, or um, to spread it wide, the Caribbean side. And we have my brother, <laughs> uh, Black Sheriff, who's also came through with some mad ass energy, you know, like the high life feeling but still gives us some hip hop kind of energy that that's like something that took the world by storm. Of explosion. course, explosion, and explosion, explosion. Yes, it did explosion. So, uh, so for the past 10 years, we have actually been pushing. I mean, the producers here from Ghana have so been doing magic. Like, no, we are a Kevin Taylor on a journalist from America. Everybody to just a new crowd back America as we speak. And yeah, they say a new recognition. A war edema um records on the american rapper because for the last decade you know yeah there's something me a producer hit song be and i say i mean what maybe be strong could be a and he referred to records as an underground artist and you got stone boy who did they nominate energy so in your international collaboration maybe baby so what that is saying yes it records said the end the only stone boy born you records or try hit song that being be 100 years city we won't say jimmy or the quest to be ba as i have a gck way oh recross a first to boy mojim papa now recross not here and i better try oh try you toy what i must say oh indeed yes it's stone boy bloggers come with you stone boy say recross on this to boy ben you may say recross the ben out is what you are and you know you all right, now let's let's we go case of guys a bit as boy. It means that uh, you said you are not even confident in yourself. I will say, and there will be a Facebook live. I say, I call you Martin and come Africa. Me say, record this is going to be a America. A little women a many years ago. I and a a a genuine eye on born you probably be a best in the low a recross was a record cross was at the end. 10 years of the 20 years, and you have a man who I say. You cannot perform your duty as a man very well. This is give us P capsules for you. That's a reply from Kevin Taylor on international collaboration of Stone Boy and a um, Red Cross Ebabia. Now, the issue is that for some of the things that Kevin Taylor kind of did, I agree with him 100% because um, for the last decade, and I said 10 years, Eban, yes, I said, um, Red Cross so producing in Bianyadi. But in as much as own producer, you know, he is one of the biggest artists when you go to America. And yeah, you can never doubt that because um Rick Cross, though say for the past decade, when she done producing any hit song be a maintaining but going back to the olden days and as we speak now, yeah, come big artists. I want to mean your moon from more American US Yes Afanina is one of the biggest artists in the Ebitan Bun being Edin Bia Kansem. A band of wealth, everything he is I mean most talked about um Atiza or America a bit more can so I believe say Stone Boy and or Pesaw Genedia, I think it's in the right direction because to have um, records feature you in the songer 
it is not really a small thing to talk about. Um, I think that Stone Boy a eh, lucky enough to have recross perform with him on a particular song in international collaboration so I want you to also bring out your view on this um or the comment on this issue under the comment section and hey debate my and say but when we said this particular song the bit my bar one thing na yin na yeti bi na fe ya de agiji ni e wo abrabom and men kai obi say aha e pine tv na me so subscribe to our channel and need mu any ho brase mu o be subscribe to our channel on youtube at pine tv back up e bi en kan obi pine tv back up e bi en kan obi me say dan dan nyina no and some hold we dey banin and all the exclusives no on so say e bi to me do be say we subscribe to our channel we are be like it, we be comment it, and watch a video no so e dey am for for enye bi ahwe